for We Are Many, Bob Your Verse, number two by Dennis E. Taylor. Overview. Continuing the story of Bob in all his forms and all his adventures, we focus on still trying to save humanity despite its least best efforts to help. But there's a new civilization found that has one of the Bobs very interested. All is going fine as teetering on the brink of chaos when an old and all-consuming civilization sets its eyes on humanity and the rest of the universe. There's only one man to save them. Well, well, one former man who's AI now. Uh, oh, well, actually, multiple AI former men. Well, multiple AI former men. That's really one man. Well, not one man because now they're all separate and with their own unique experiences and memories and actions. Again, I love sci-fi. Review. Set immediately after the first book ended, the second one holds all the charm and great sci-fi storytelling that the first had. The main characters characters are logical but don't get everything right. The stakes are higher as the story unfolds more. The humor and the emotions are maintained in line with the previous. This is how a sequel should be written. One of my favorite parts is that, the, that Bob recognizes the need to maintain a type of physicality in order to keep a limit on his fully computer self, but in order to help physical beings, aliens, humans, etc. He needs to maintain some grounding and develop some limits to his programming and other also develops androids. If you're looking for a suggested series for a friend or family to start sci-fi, I really would pick this series. My understanding is that the series isn't finished yet, so that may give one pause. However, I think this is a great primer is the fun that the science fiction can be. Final grade, hey. <laughs>